Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Well, we're definitely into autumn. There's a lot of leaves falling off the trees and it's definitely been chillier this week than it has been up until now. So the fish are slowing down and they're starting to wind down and we've got a lot of jobs that I need to keep getting on and doing. I've actually had a bit of a nightmare of a week, which takes up most of the update. So without further ado, let's get on with it. And thank you for watching. The good news is the treatment that I added last week worked to clear up this one's ulcer. The bad news, as you can quite clearly see, is it worked to obviously kill off the algae in my pond or something, and it gave me some sort of algae plume, and I now have murky, cloudy water, which I've been battling all week, cleaning the filters every day to try and get rid of, and my job for this weekend is to get the means to get this back to clean and clear water because I don't like it as it is and I've been having other problems this week as well which you're about to find out about now. Lucky we were out there. Yeah, I'm not sure he's going to survive. No, I don't think he will. But if we get him out, and then, uh, even if we leave that in the pond... In the... And certainly this isn't great, just luckily we were outside when it happened, I heard a funny noise in the skimmer, went over and this one was stuck in there, he's the one who's got the bad mouth, now for all intents and purposes it's looking like he's got a swim bladder problem, so I don't think I'm going to be able to react quick enough to save him, which is quite sad. He's not going on his back anymore. He's starting to upbite. I hope it's just stress and he's just shocked himself from ending up in the skimmer. But I've put him in this bowl in here. It's about 10 o'clock at night at the moment. It's not ideal timing. I'm going to leave the skimmer off overnight. Keep very close eye on this one. He's going to stay in here tonight, don't worry. I'm not going to risk leaving him in the pond. We did admittedly have two power cuts just before this happened, but this isn't looking good. He can't hold himself. And the water keeps ending up on his side and he's gasping for breath like this. Quite worried. Well, we've done about all we can for him this evening. We've got some air going in there. We've put a nice load of stress coat in there. He's doing a bit better than he was earlier. He's looking a little better. But just have to wait and see if he makes it until morning. Fingers crossed. It's about 9am in the morning after the night before. Now, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but he survived the night. He's still alive. He seems a bit more... I don't know if he's less with it or more with it this morning. Swam around a little when I came down this morning. There we go, sees. Doing a bit better than he was last night, I think. I'm not sure. Just gonna keep a very close eye on him and keep him quarantined in here. Do all to change in here soon. Hopefully. We can work through this. You're gonna be okay, little buddy. Just giving him some fresh water. Well, I've done a complete water change and a nice load, another nice load of stress coat. Um, well, doesn't look to be making much difference. There's more water in there now than there was before, and it's nice and clean and fresh so can but hope it's Thursday about midday this happened Tuesday night this all started and the good news today is he appears to be doing much better he's not lying on his back I mean he's still not full of life and he's not looking great 
but at least he's doing better than he was the other day. It's nice and warm in this greenhouse compared to outside. So I'm going to leave him in here a couple more days. Hopefully get him back to strength. And then he should hopefully go back in the pond. So obviously after the week you can see I've been having, one of the first things I rushed to do was to start testing my water and get on top of that and see what the problem is and sort it out. I came in to get my, what I had testing wise at the moment for my aquariums and things and they're not in a great condition. So I've got more testing stuff, I've got Pond Master testing kit on order plus a few other things and we're going to sort this out and get on top of it hopefully as soon as we possibly can and hopefully before it goes off way too cold but that's where we are with water testing I don't think this would be ideal to start doing any tests here really and these test strips are for aquariums really and they haven't got hasn't got an ammonia test on there which is quite an important one um, and yeah the ammonia is a buggered there so got that on order that should be arriving in the next couple of days and I can get to work sorting out that pond water. Now to make the mix a bit more interesting, it's hailing. Bit of everything this week, I think. That's not going to help the water temperature in the pond though, is it? There we go then, not a great week here and I've got a lot to do to try and get things back to how they should be but that'll keep me busy and I've got some stuff on order and a few more things I can try to get things back on track so that'll keep me busy over the weekend as I say. I also probably should have said earlier, um, I've been looking at microscopes online um, with all of this going on so that I can teach myself how to do scrapes because I'm sure flukes or some other parasite must be playing a factor here as well now looking at the behaviour of all the fish so any recommendations on a good budget microscope for doing these sorts of things would be greatly received if you leave them in the comments um, and finally as ever if you made it this far thanks for watching don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one hopefully things will be a little bit better next week take care everybody